All right, now we're gonna check out a lady that says that pitch correction isn't a bad thing, and she is uh, apparently a vocal coach, and uh, also saw that Pegasus reacted to this, Wings of Pegasus, and yeah, we're gonna look at that, but uh, first of all, I will just say I completely disagree with this lady. Uh, it is a bad thing. Why is it a bad thing? Very simple. Because it's not real. That's why. And if you're gonna be a singer, you wanna be judged on your actual outcome from your singing abilities and not being judged on a fake version of your voice. And uh, so yeah, I strongly disagree there. But let's let's have a listen. I sometimes see comments on my reaction videos where people will criticize the singer by saying oh, they use pitch correction on their voice as if that that's me it's a bad thing it is today i want to remove the stigma of pitch correction why when used tastefully pitch correction is simply an enhancement it's the difference between a regular lips and putting on a lip gloss. Second of all, the use of pitch correction is the industry standard in the world of recorded music today. You can... So? That doesn't make it okay? I always say this. Just because everybody jumps off of a bridge, does that make it a good thing? No. You have outstanding pitch. And your vocal recordings will still be put through pitch correction processing to make it even squeakier clean because our ears have come to expect perfect pitch when we listen to music. And that's the problem right there. That's exactly the problem. My ears has not. I know the majority of people that listens to modern day music, their ears, have, as, as she says, has become accustomed to pitch correction to the point where if you're not pitch corrected in their in their eyes and ears and in their minds that's awful because they want everything to be that perfect you know pitch that's not a good thing lady that's not a good thing if you're still a human you know what i mean pitch when one listening to music i've been a professional singer for over 20 years, 20 years. i have pretty, pretty good pitch, pitch. And you, and you know, know what? what? I, I use pitch correction, correction on every single one of my recordings. <laughs> Why? I mean, that's so wrong in my book. That's so wrong. Really, it is. Because you're now saying, yeah, you're singing, even though it's, it's good, it's not good enough. So we have to put this on, on your voice. Even your own voice. You're saying to yourself, it's not good enough. It doesn't matter how much I train my voice, it still won't be good enough, so I have to apply pitch correction. I don't get that, lady. Every single one of my recordings. I'm gonna demonstrate my pitch correction right now. And you can decide just how much of a difference it actually makes to the sound of my voice. Chances are you hardly even notice the difference. So if you hardly even notice the difference, why do you even put it on? Do you know what I mean? So that's a false thing right there. You obviously think there is a difference, otherwise you wouldn't put it on. Do you know what I mean? But now you're gonna demonstrate how there is no difference and therefore it should be okay to do it. Great logic, lady. And the and point, the point is, is to show you that pitch correction isn't something, something to be ashamed of. When we it is. And hence why people get so mad. I get so much flack on my channel when I, when I say I think something is pitch corrected. Why do people get mad? Because deep down inside, they don't like that it is pitch corrected. And that is why they come at people like me uh, for saying it's pitch, correct, pitch corrected because they don't want it to be pitch corrected. They want to believe that what they're hearing is the real vocals. So you're wrong in that too, lady. Correction isn't something to be ashamed of. 
when, when used, used on a, on a good, good singer's, singer's voice, voice like, like all the all people, people that I react, react to on my channel, channel it's, it's simply a bit of final polish. End, end of story. story. Baby now! Take me into your loving arms! Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars! Baby now! So, yeah, so she will go through. Now, this is what this is, is manual pitch correction. So she actually goes in there and manually adjusts and fine tunes whatever small parts she wants to fine tune. So there is manual pitch correction, which is what she is doing right there. And then there is software that can do it automatically, either live or in uh, studio recorded vocals it's called waves tunes real time pitch correction software so yeah so basically she does that and uh, then she will display another version where she says is pitch corrected pitch corrected and where pegasus seems to think that yeah there is no difference between the two versions the non pitch correction and uh, pitch correction one. We might not be able to see a little bit um, further on because I do have. But that right there, hold on. That right there looks pitch corrected. I can't point to it because, but anyways. The screenshot in there. Baby now. So yeah, we've just got the software introduced Take me into your love and all of a thousand stars. Apply pitch, pitch correction to it, even though she does. Just, I mean, I can't believe anybody would listen to that and, and apply, apply pitch, pitch correction to it, even though she does say that she pitch, pitch corrects all of her vocals. vocals. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean my, my advice, advice would be don't, don't, don't lose, lose any of those micro tones. Oh, now it's just showing. Um, um, she's, she's kind of cleaning up, so changing the pitch of what she's just sung. Yeah, so basically, in a nutshell, uh, Pegasus uh, says, okay, I, I don't hear any or see anything different. Or I, he saw some difference, but he didn't hear any difference. And we're going to look at it uh, right now. Hold on. Look at it. The non-pitch correction... What she says is not pitch corrected is here. Baby now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Okay, so this is supposed to be the non-pitch corrected version. But to me there are some parts that actually do look pitch corrected, like this one, for example. <laughs> now, I'm not saying anything. I'm just throwing out a question. Since this lady is so, uh, she's very, she has no problem with pitch correction. How do I know that she hasn't, you know, adjusted some parts of the pitch correction version? to be non-pitch corrected and some parts being pitch corrected. You know what I mean? Like maybe she adjusted some parts so that it looks a little bit different from the pitch correction version, but not different enough so that you actually, so, I, so that you actually hear the difference. Uh, let's go to the, to the pitch corrected one that she claims, 208. Baby now Take me into your loving arms Because here we can see that that is a sign of pitch correction and she does say that this is pitch corrected but it's look it looks very similar to the other one of the non pitch corrected 
that she claims is non pitch corrected. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Like you can see there, there. So if I go back to the non pitch corrected version again, what she claims is non pitch corrected. Baby, now take me into your loving arms. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. You see there? That still looks pitch corrected to me. So I'm not saying anything, but I am kind of saying something as well. That uh, I don't know if I can trust uh, you, lady, because uh, you do you do this, okay? <laughs> what what this literally is is you go and fine tune whatever p parts you want. Like that. You know? And you fiddle around. You fiddle around with that. So how do I know that you didn't fiddle around with the... With the one you claimed is not pitch corrected. To make it look like it's not pitch corrected. And left some parts slightly corrected. And you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry, lady. You might be a you know great lady and all that, but you you just you just said that pitch correction is not there's nothing wrong with it, and therefore that alone is uh, for me a little bit shady. You know what I mean? It's a little bit because pitch correction is fake. Okay, at the end of the day, it is fake. So, but then again, this is my opinion. Uh, you guys think what you think, I think what I think, and this was just my my look at this and uh, my thoughts on this. If you have any suggestions, put it in the comment section. Peace out.